the Sparrow. Well, what can I say about the Sparrow? Um, this is what started a whole snowball effect. When I moved back home from England, this was one of the first guitar projects that I started. Um, this started life as an Ibanez stage star. So, just a starter guitar from back in the 90s. And I wanted to do ridiculous, ridiculous things to it. One of the very first things was drawing out a new body shape. And you might notice that this body shape looks familiar. Well, it is in fact what inspired the Icarus. This is the Icarus body shape and what Icarus is based upon. This has gone through an extensive custom process, not just including the paint job. One of the very first things that happened, apart from changing the shape, was thinning it out. So this is a very thin guitar, which makes it very lightweight as well. It received an oak top because I thought that would be funky. Other than that, the specs are exactly the same. I haven't changed out anything of the guitar. The hardware electronics have been redone, but the hardware and everything else has stayed the same. The pickups are originals and the bridge tuners woods otherwise are originals. Um, there's a custom back plate made out of birch to fit the back. Painted as well, and it has a maple neck, maple fretboard, alder body, and the oak top. One of the reasons why it looks the way it does is I called in a favor. A couple of years back, one of my friends over here, Emilio, or 3 for is known by his artist name, had a crowdfunding campaign. I helped him make the videos for his campaign and to kind of help me out when I had the idea to actually start a crowdfunding campaign to make more guitars possible, get a workshop and everything else, I asked him, asked him a favor that would he want to collaborate on making a guitar with me. I gave him full free hands to do whatever he wanted and I think the outcome is incredible. It looks the part. It sounds the part. It is a very fun, very unique instrument. It is a piece of art. There's no doubt about that. Everything being said, I am a very honest person and I will continue to be very honest about everything that I do on this channel. That is just the sort of person that I am. This guitar currently is not perfect. There are a couple things that need to change. I do need to change the springs for the tremolo system to new ones because they are old and don't keep the tuning stability all that well. But the major issue with this one currently is, yes they look very pretty. The open tuners look very very nice, but they are off of a 90s starter instrument. They do not hold the tuning as well as I would like them to. So the new tuners, new tuners have to be gotten for this guitar in order for it to work the way I want. Other than that, it sounds great. I am really happy with how it turned out. It is definitely a unique instrument, like I said, and a very special custom job. After I get the tuners fixed up, after I put in new springs, it is gonna be a total beast. And now I hope you've enjoyed this week. This week we went over customized guitars, which are guitars that have been extensively customized to whatever concept. And I hope you've enjoyed this week. There will be a new week coming up. Next week will definitely be hmm, interesting, to say the least, where we cover up projects. So these are guitars that were projects of various different styles. <laughs> and there's not much I'm going to say about that yet. You're going to have to wait um, until next week to find out more. Alrighty, that's that. Comment down below, hit like, and subscribe to see more. I will see you guys next week. Have a lovely weekend.